Welcome back to Stardew Valley. I'm your host, longtime listener. Be sure to drop a like, hit the subscribe button, and comment below. It is episode 16 of the playthrough now. We are going to be on our second day of summer. <clears throat> and so we're going to have a lot of crops to water. We got to start praying for rain here in the, uh, the summer season because that's going to make my days a lot more uh, manageable as far as getting other stuff done besides just, you know, watering crops. Not that it's going to take forever to water the crops, but it is going to take a lot of my energy which means I'm going to have to have sources of energy to replenish um, so that I can, you know, go mining, go fishing, do other things that I need to do. So pretty much if it's raining, we're going mining, period. Because that's going to be the day where we can make some progress in the mines, get deeper, get some resources, and not have to, you know, burn through all of my food to do so um so i'm thinking today this first day is probably gosh it's taking forever <clears throat> it's probably going to be a day where we go fishing we're low on funds and there are going to be new summer fish available so what i'm thinking we do is run around come on here uh we'll run around looking for ooh, we're close to level 10 fishing as well it's going to be sunny again tomorrow, and then it's a very bad luck day. Uh, ooh, we got... Whoa, 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 whoa. To our jo valued Jojamod customers, please be advised that the landslide blockage near the railroad will be cleared using explosives tomorrow morning. Avoid the area in case of falling rocks. Jojico is not responsible for any damage incurred to people or property in the vicinity. Joja Mart, we value your business. Cool. Thanks, Joja Mart, for the warning before you blow stuff up. <clears throat> All right, go like that. I'm not going to bother with the crab pots for a little while because I need to be saving money for bait. Buddy, just get up there. My dog is whining because he wants to get up on the couch. And there's... It's one of those, like... it's. There's something on the couch, and then there's the coffee table in front of it, where it's kind of just a little bit of a tight squeeze. It's making him nervous to where he doesn't want to jump up there. So he's just sitting there whining, like, hey, move this bin. I'm not going to do it. He's going to have to overcome his fear and get it done. Hang on, I got a text message here. Let's see what we got. <clears throat> all right my ear is itching like crazy oh i need another scarecrow so we got lucky that we didn't lose any of our melons or even worse our star fruit today i think the star fruit is safe this row out here might be okay we need water so let's go get a refill and let's come and craft a scarecrow i need one of those and then i know i need a bunch of those i can't remember which i never remember if it's 50 wood and 20 fiber or 20 wood and 50 fiber so i always just end up grabbing a bunch of it so if I put that right there, okay, yeah, we're going to cover it all. Sweet. <clears throat> so as far as energy, it looks like the crop watering process is going to take about half of it. Maybe a little bit more. Um, and it's going to take about three hours. So, I think my plan in the short term is going to be to go ahead and eat whatever mushrooms I get out of the mushroom cave um, <clears throat> to refill the old energy bar. Golly, guys, my ear is itching like crazy. I don't know how to make it stop. 
Okay. I want to look at something real quick. Crafting. I can't even make a lightning rod yet. How do I... I can't remember what unlocks the ability to craft a lightning rod, but we need to get there. I think it's mining. Like, level, what, what level mining are we on? Five? We might need to get to, like, level six or even more. But we, we got to get there. Because that's going to allow me... Ooh, nice. Those chanterelles are good eatings. 75 energy apiece. Now, I might need to save a couple of them. So we'll start with the common mushrooms. And eating them will probably get me full. Or close to it, anyway. 47. Yeah, I have enough to fill up. So, that will go in there. Or, we'll... we'll Save that one for now, and then Chantrelle will save you. Okay, so we're ready to go fishing, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure <clears throat> it's 940. I do want to try and at least keep looking for some stuff to forage it's kind of frustrating that i haven't had any luck on that front but my plan it's 10 o'clock i'm gonna go up to the mountain lake we got a sweet pea and we'll fish up there until maybe you know what we'll just fish up there all day <clears throat> I was thinking we'll fish up there for a little bit and then we'll swing down to the other, like the southern part of the map and look for some forageables. But it might not be worth it. Sorry. I'm so in the habit of just skipping through dialogue because I've seen it all a thousand times. But I really need to break that habit. <clears throat> anyway, we'll fish up here today. Then tomorrow, depending on luck... Um, we'll either go mining if it's a good luck day or we'll go south and do foraging and fishing if it's a, you know, kind of bad luck day <clears throat> alright so we're going to fish up here until about 10 o'clock and then race home so that's the plan Stan. You know, I was thinking about it. Ooh, didn't some the wizard wanted that? That's so far away though. Like I I can't justify the trip. I can warp there. <laughs> so maybe maybe we do that for the 195G at the end of the day. We warp to the wizard's house. Ooh, a sturgeon. Nice. Uh, ooh, look at this. Now, <laughs> 1 to 65 damage is crazy. The range, that's insane, guys. <clears throat> and it swings kind of slow. That's a pretty good score, but I don't remember the damage having that big of a range on the low end. So I'm kind of disappointed, honestly, and I'm not even sure if I'll use it. I probably will. We'll probably switch over to that, over the Crystal Dagger. But only because I'm just more comfortable swinging a sword than I am using a dagger. So. Um, we might run out of inventory space, guys. We're already full on the top bar. Now, I can eat that other mushroom. Let's go ahead and do that. Boom. You gone. That frees up some space. That can go down there. That can go down there. Things that I know aren't going to stack are going to go down there. 
And then when my bar gets full up here, we'll move some more stuff down. That's a pretty good variety of fish right there. So... As long as they continue to stack... Oh, Chubb. Six different fish in a row. Like, that's crazy. So, I wouldn't mind catching some more Chubbs because they're good eatings. And I could use them to replenish my energy... Um, while I work on basically objectives for the summer, I think are going to be start working towards getting some sprinklers so that I don't have to water crops. The challenge is that I don't even have the ability to craft them yet. So I've got to get to where I can craft them and then I need to use the resources to craft them. And I think quality sprinklers require a gold bar. I could be wrong about that, but if they do, that's going to stink because that means I got to go get a bunch of gold. We're going to get to level 10 fishing today, guys. So that's awesome. I wouldn't mind catching a couple more sturgeon. Rainbow trout sell for 162 apiece. 500 for sturgeon. And the largemouth bass are not that bad. 250. I was thinking they were more than that. <clears throat> I'm getting a bunch of rainbow trout, which is good because that's the most profitable fish outside. Well, actually, no. The, the bass and the sturgeon. I knew the sturgeon, but whatever. Not a big deal. As long as we don't catch a ton of carp. We're due for another treasure chest. There's a sturgeon. 129 more XP to get to level 10, which is like two more fish. Well, not when one of them's a carp, though. <laughs> we'll say four more fish. But this expedition will net me a decent amount of cash so that we can start thinking about the next thing we want to buy, which very well could be, well, it's probably going to be either the, um, the axe upgrade or a barn. And some of that might depend on exactly how much cash I have at the time that I decide to do this. Because if I only have like 5,000, obviously we just get the axe. If I've got like 10,000, we buy the barn knowing that I'll then also have some cash to buy cows or the barn whenever it's built. So, that's my thinking. So, in light of warping down to the wizard's house, um, we'll just keep fishing. I don't want to abuse that ability too much, and that is crazy. Like, going to the mines in the last episode didn't bother me too much, because I was in a way, just kind of demonstrating how mine carts would work. And some of that was because I was heartbroken when I went to try and use it and then realized that they weren't fixed yet. <laughs> so uh, it was my way of, you know, mending my broken heart. It's awesome that I haven't had to dig into any of my field snacks so far today like i was just able to you know get by on the mushrooms and we can pretty much fish all day on one bar of energy from the looks of things which is freaking sweet 
because now I know a day of chores and fishing basically just requires the consumption of some mushrooms to make it all work. And it takes up pretty much the full day, time-wise. That soda's about to get drank, baby. Look how far I'm casting. It's crazy. Yes, drink the Joja Cola. Got another work call coming up here in like... 10 minutes that I've got to jump on so I'm going to play this day take a break although I'll probably just you know pause the recording and then start it up again so you won't notice much of the break other than maybe like music not playing anymore or something along those lines but we should be able to fish until we're completely out of energy here we've got just one largemouth bass. That's crazy. Five chubs, seven bullheads, nine carp, four sturgeon, and seven rainbow trout. That poor wizard, he's going to get word that I caught seven rainbow trout and didn't bother to bring one of them to him that he was asking for and willing to pay for. Eesh. Some friend. All right, let's go. So that's not going to make us a fortune because some of those fish I will need to hang on to. Um, but I can sell a pretty good chunk of them. So that rock slide is going to be gone in the morning. So that's noteworthy. Where is all the foraging, guys? This is crazy. I haven't seen anything but sweet peas so far. <sighs> All right. What fish do I... How much bait did I use? Wow. Most of it. So that's going to be a problem. We're going to have to buy some bait. But let's come in here. I need to keep this largemouth bass. Now, I also need to give one to the... Um, community center plus i think there's a, a one where either marnie or jody wants the bass for a, i think it's jody for a cooking recipe so that stinks now i don't need the rainbow trout for the community center so we are going to just keep two of them i don't think you need them for any recipes either sturgeon one you need for the community center two um I'll need one for the fish ponds. So we got to keep all of those, which stinks because now I can't sell any. Carp, we're going to keep two more and sell the rest. Bullhead, I think we're going to sell all of them. Chubs, we're going to keep them all. That's going to put. That might be a food source, but I'm hoping that between field snacks and mushrooms. I can make it work. In fact, I should be able to make a few more field snacks, right? Um, we need some maple seeds. So no, we're not going to make any more field snacks. <clears throat> but let's see here. Come over to the summer chest. We'll keep... I need one for the community center. These are good gifts. So we're not going to sell any for now. Uh, let's go like that. Neptune's Glade. Where is my sword? See, this is 17 to 43, and it's got that thing that's deadly. I'm going to stick with it, guys. Which means I can sell this Neptune's Glade for 1000 bucks to Gunther. I already have a diamond, so I can sell that one, too. Uh, we're probably good on green algae. We'll keep... it. I mean, you can eat it, but it's probably just better to sell. 
they sell for 15 and they only give you 13 energy. So it's like one to one. Just sell it. Um, generally speaking, I would say that's a good one to eat. But since it's so little in terms of how much it gives you, it's not a big deal. All right. So sell. Sell. Sell, 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 right? I don't think I can sell this in this chest down here. In the shipping bin. Yeah, I gotta take that to the Adventurer's Guild. Alright, it's 11 o'clock. Let's grab... Um, oh gosh, I don't have any room in here. So we're going to just grab the watering can because tomorrow what we ultimately do is going to depend on luck. If it's a bad luck day, we're going to go fishing again. We're going to have to go to Willie's, though, to get some bait. It's cheap, but we're going to have to buy it, which stinks because that's money that I got to spend. So, all right. Heading to bed. I got to jump on a call and we will be back momentarily. Oh, wait. Level 10 fishing. Oh, they just blew up the, the rock slide. Now, here is level 10. You can choose fifth, fish being worth 50% more, which gives me more cash. In the long run, though, this pirate one is the definite better choice because you get the chance of getting super awesome stuff from treasure short term to get that cash to be spending is probably not a bad idea but i want the treasure i mean there's a good chance that i might get something like an iridium band um you can get artifacts and such that are sometimes hard to come by. So that's the choice that I pretty much always go with nowadays. Um, so that's that. All right. We'll be back in a little bit. All right. We're back. How's that for quick? <laughs> it was like an hour for me, by the way. Anyway, we got a day to go here. There was an explosion during the night. The explosion was Joja clearing that rock slide up by Linus's tent. It's a neutral luck day today, and Queen of Sauce is a rerun about omelet making. Oh, and this is uh, Susan. Hello, I'm Susan, the owner of Emerald Farm up at the railroad. I've been trapped up there alone ever since Joja caused the rock slide, so I've got a little bit of cabin fever. <laughs> Happy to finally meet you, Magnus. She looks nice seems nice stop by and visit Emerald Farm when you have the time you got it <clears throat> now uh, I want to do this real quick because this is bothering me Boop. and we'll go ahead and get gummy bear some water before we forget okay ooh, ooh. Magnus, this is embarrassing. I lost my lucky purple shorts. And I'm telling you because I think I can trust you. If you find them, bring them back to me discreetly. I'll pay well. Thanks, Mayor Lewis. Quest accepted. So find and return Mayor Lewis's purple shorts. We'll do that eventually, but I... Man, we got 4000 bucks out of that fishing expedition... I think we might go mining today because I plan on going up to, uh, sorry, let's rearrange here. I plan on going up to check out the old rock slide situation. So since we're going to be up that direction, I think we'll parlay that into a trip into the mines. How's that sound for a plan? Um, I mean, I know that the luck isn't exactly where we would want it, but that's not that big of a deal. Luck is just a bonus in general, regardless of what activity it is that you 
have in mind. A lot of people like to use good luck days to go to the mines. Um, it's almost there could be just as strong an argument made to go fishing on good luck days for the chance of getting more treasure chests. So, you know, it's, uh, it's more of a personal preference, honestly. And some of it just kind of depends on what you actually need to do that day. And so for that reason, luck is exactly that you either, you know, have good luck and you can take advantage of it or you don't have good luck. Nothing you can do about it, right? <laughs> so, either way, like, I gotta catch some fish today because I need money. Or I've gotta go mining because I need gold. And if it's a good luck day, like, sweet. Because I'm going mining, and now I'll have good luck in the mines. But anyway. Look at Gummy Bear over there. His ears kind of, you know, down. Hey, little buddy. He's asleep on his feet. That's pretty cool. All right, let's go put away our watering can. I wish that this fish, uh, this little pond here was more uh, s symmetrical. It kind of bothers me, not going to lie. Okay, I've got a sweet pea that, uh, you know what? We're going to go into town, but first we're going to check out the bus stop for this very purpose. We're looking for some foraging. We got the grapes. Now, you're wondering, like, why the heck is he just turning around and going home? Because I'm going to just put the grapes away. Um, grapes are a funny one because they're summer foraging, but they're a fall crop. So it's like, what's up with that? Uh, but anyway... We're just going to put it away, and now we're going south out of the farm because I want to check the forest area down here for those forageables. Just real quick, we're not going to go too far out of our way. We're actually going to try and pop into Marnie's real quick as well. Oh no, Shane! Are you okay? Shane? So Marnie's like wrong here and look he's his room is filthy and she's like oh dear so he's passed out with beer cans laying all around he stayed up late last night playing altered beast on the sega genesis magnus can you do something he's out cold this is one of my favorite parts of the game right here ready <laughs> uh sure Blah, not that part this part Skadoosh. <laughs> Just hit him with the watering can, which, by the way, I didn't even have on me at the time, but whatever. Shane, what's the matter with you? All you do anymore is mope around your room and drink beer. Not, he works at Joja Mart. Give him some credit. You wouldn't understand. So, Marnie is worried, and here comes Jazz to check out the situation. What's your plan? Don't you ever think about your future? plan Pfft, hopefully I won't be around long enough to need a plan <gasps> Jazz is heartbroken and takes off running crying and now Shane feels bad and he's like at his wits end here it's, it's so sad now we're here to say hi to Marnie because right there are the purple shorts that we need so we want to become friends with Marnie. So the more we talk to her, the more we become friends. I don't need to buy anything from you. I'm just here to say hello. <clears throat> now, come on, give me some forageables, dang it. Andy's out, but we're not going to stop and say hi to him. We got a lot to do today. So we're going to come over this way. We will swing up here and see if Sophia is out and about. There she is. Oh, look at her summer outfit. Whoa, righteous. That's, that's it? She's ignoring me. That is just rude. 
I don't know if I can be friends with her. Oh, another cutscene. I guarantee there is nothing to be worried about, Maya. But there is, Morris. Robin's house was struck by several rocks. Oh, wait. But there is, Morris. Robin's house was struck by several rocks when the landslide was cleared. Susan was shocked by the blast. She wasn't informed of the operation to tell. Oh. Everything is under control and will be fine, Mayor. He calls him Mayor. And what are the garbage Joja dumps into the river, Morris? Willie, our local fisherman, says he's catching Joja CDs and cola cans. Might I remind you that pursuant to initiative R27.01 Jojico Amendment, Jojo's operations here in Stardew Valley are fully compliant with the law. Dude, what kind of answer is that, Morris? Ah, oh, hello, Magnus. I was uh, just on my way. Good day, sir. <laughs> he did say good day. Good day, Morris. <laughs> he should have called him Jojo Mart Manager instead of Morris, because he was calling him Mayor. Joja is paving a way to greatness in Stardew Valley. Hmm. Hmm. It's only a matter of time until we are all united under Joja! Wow, the evil empire of Joja is... Ooh, ooh, ooh. Say hi to, uh... Victor. Did you hear the explosion last night? Joja blew up the rocks by... Uh, blocking Susan's house. Yeah, I heard it. Alright. I really don't need those rocks. It's okay, though, because we're going to get more rocks today. Stone, I should say. I don't need that stone. Hey, Jazz. Are you okay? Hey, I know that you're sad about Shane, but trust me when I say that everything is going to be just fine. Dude, I am digging Gunther's outfit, by the way. All right, let's pop in here and see old Clint. Hey, what you, uh, hey, what do you need? Process these geodes, please. Let's start with the regulars. I might need that. Nope. I know I don't need that. I don't need that. That I think I do need. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Now back down here. I wish I could cut through right there, but I can't. Okie dokie, Smokey. Jazz is still wearing the same outfit, and so is Vincent. What's that about? All right. That'll go there. Now let's sneak over here and say hi to these fine folks. Uh, we don't do a full summer vacation. Okay. So she's talking about, basically, they have a uh, year-round school schedule. Have you decorated your house at all? That's what I'd be doing if I had a house. <clears throat> well, I, I haven't all that much. I mean, I've got a flute block and a singing stone and a drum block that are pretty awesome when you put them all together. So Alex didn't change his outfit for the summer. He's still sporting the old letterman's jacket. Hey, farm guy, I got a question for you. You think I'll ever turn pro? Uh, maybe if you practice a lot. You're destined to be a sports legend. Oh, wait. I think I accidentally clicked the practice one, which is fine, because really, that's probably the most honest answer. Well, I'm so good, I'm not going to have to practice all that much. <laughs> so he thinks he's like the next Lamar Jackson. Hi, taking a day off? No. I'm not taking the day off. Ooh, 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 there's a help wanted. It's noon, and we haven't even made it up to the... Wait, nothing on the calendar today. Clint wants 25 copper ores. Uh, speaking of which... Our inventory is already, like, half full. This wasn't very well thought out. Well, actually, I, I like, I... I brought some extra equipment here. Really just the pickaxe. Or the axe, I mean. But it's because we're going to come up here to see... 
Oh man, I should have. Scythe would have made this what I'm about to do a lot easier. Ooh, actually, it's not that bad. So she keeps it in pretty good shape. Hey. Hey! How are you? I'm thankful Jojo cleared the rock slide. Lewis and I went through so much trouble getting them to remove the rocks. Look at her keg set up. Holy smokes. She's got a nice place here. Jojo refuses to apologize. Well, you know, I brought that sweet pea. Let's just give it to her because I don't have anybody else to give it to. And she likes it. She really likes it. Whoop. Oh, goodness, for me? Thank you. You're welcome. She might go up the... Wait, can she... Is she, uh... Is she dateable? I'm betting that she is. Where is Susan? Oh, no, she's not. That's okay, though. We can still be friends. See? Oh, look! The boulder is all... Oh! A rapier. Oh, it's not that exciting, though. But look at all the foraging up here. Oh, look at the gravestones. Guys. How much farther can I go? Okay, there's that boulder. <laughs> In vanilla, there's a boulder there that blocks you from going up that far. And that's the bathhouse which has a spa that you can go into to regain your energy. I forgot to get the mushrooms. It's 150 already. Rats. I'm kind of bummed that that sword wasn't way more awesome than the one that I already have. But it's okay. I was thinking that the common mushroom was a fall forageable, but we just got one in spring or in summer. That's it says fall foraging right there on it. That's weird. This place hasn't changed in years. Good to see Marlin's keeping up with it. So you can have that for 550 and that for a thousand. So we're close to being able to buy a barn, y'all. And the more that I think about it, I am leaning towards that as our next significant purchase. Um, holy smokes, we got a ton of stuff. We might have to use the chest anywhere mod to get this home before it drives me crazy. But we'll see. You can come with me and we're going to eat ya. I'm gonna eat you, eat you, eat you, eat you one way. Sorry. <laughs> Ooh. No! He, see, he shot me, but it didn't hurt me at all. Ooh, and we leveled up our mine or uh, combat to level four. Oh, hey, leave me alone. No! Wow. Critical strike there. I see you down there, red slime. So the red rocks are the ones that I tend to try and focus on in these levels if I'm going for something other than these gray ones that I know are going to give me stone. They give you XP. Well, I guess maybe not. Man, that didn't kill him. Um, but I feel like they are the... They give you the best chance of getting... Uh, gold or coal. I could be wrong about that. But that's just personal preference, I guess. Oh my gosh, come on with this. Where's the ladder? There it is. Ooh, ooh. Look at this. Did you look at this? So we'll try and get down another five levels today. Um, nope. I'm going to have to eat for health here if I'm not careful. 
We're already pretty low there. There we go. It's awesome when you get them cornered like that and can just let them have it. Come on, give me a ladder. I don't want to go up there and have to deal with these little guys. But if I can funnel them into one spot... There we go. I'm getting... Whoa! I'm getting pretty good with this dagger. Not gonna lie. Ooh, a jade. Nice. And there's our ladder. So we're up... Oh. Those guys are usually kind of troublesome. Because they're quick. And they just bull rush you. But... With this dagger, if I hit them, they're dead. So that's kind of nice. No, I didn't want to do that. Oh my gosh. Get a field snack. Let's go ahead and eat two of them. That helps on the health and on the energy front. So that's good. Heck yeah. God, that's so awesome. I mean, that thing is deadly. No. No. Miss. All right. Uh, I see those guys over there. Wait, oh, no, there's bats coming, but there's a ladder, thankfully. Bats will be a serious nuisance with this weapon, not going to lie. Because they don't come at you in a straight line, necessarily. They can sweep towards you, like in a circular motion. Circle, like a circle. <laughs> I like this floor, because I already have the ladder to go down. It's going to be the last floor I do anyway. So now it's just a matter of collecting the goods and then getting out of here. And there are plenty of goods to collect. I'm not going to bother with that stone over there because I don't want to go anywhere near that guy. If I don't have to. Not that he can do much damage. He's still coming at me. Jerk face. Bring it on, son. All right, let's go. Come on. Ooh, there's the obsidian edge. So it is level 90. And it is definitely better. 40 to 66. So the low end is better than the high end on this one. So uh, let's just go down to the next floor and see if there's... Nope, definitely not dealing with that. It's overrun with monsters, which basically means spending any time there is a waste of just that. All right, boom, boom. And now let's see what we can bring back with us here. All right, we can go sell the crystal dagger now. And then, Clay, you stay here. Iron bar, you come with me. The crystal dagger, selling that will free up one spot, which should be good enough to get me home. We got 35 gold and 10 copper out of that expedition. So that's not that bad. Sell for 750. I feel like the sell prices of weapons are higher. No! I just bought that for 250 and I'm selling it right back to him because it's useless. I was trying to hit the X. So there's 200 bucks down the drain. But that's okay. <laughs> I could... I Here, wait. Because we made a simple mistake, here's what we're going to do. Ready? Giving myself those, those 200 bucks back. One, two... <laughs> now, I 
just realized that actually impacts my earnings. So maybe I shouldn't have done that, but it's okay. It's 200G. Hey, where are you going? He just came out of the bushes. Dude, talk to me. What's the point of going outside? I've already seen it all. Well, you've seen your room. What's the point of going inside your room if you've seen it all? <laughs> what now? See, red mushroom. Oh, I ran right past some grapes here. And now we've got a problem because I've got a mushroom there that I want to bring home. But we got to come back and get it. Let's do this. Go to the farm. Uh, let's go to the summer bin and just put these things in here for now. And now let's come back and get this mushroom. It'll save me a half hour running back and forth. Now, um, I still need to get the mushrooms out of the cave. So don't let me forget to do that. But we're going to go drop this stuff in here. Tomorrow, we got to go fishing again. All right. So boom, 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 boom. We got three diamonds on that trip? Heck yeah. Um, we'll keep one. And we're going to sell the other two. Yep. So, red mushroom will save you. Come here, watering can. I should have left the sword up there. Forgot to do it again. We're doing good on the wood, so we're going to put the axe away. Tomorrow is going to be... We're actually going to put the pickaxe away. Tomorrow's a fishing day. Yeah. All right, let's go grab our stuff. Uh, the uh, mushrooms, that is. Seems like this mushroom cave is so far away. There it is. So we got five commons and a red. The commons will be good for Eaton's tomorrow. The red we will save. We'll go ahead and actually put you there. Because we're going to do two more in the morning. Now, t tomorrow for sure, we got to buy bait. Oh, oh, look at how full our stuff is there. And I just put glasses. Didn't I put the trash in first? Whatever, not a big deal. But we need a shed. <laughs> oh, my goodness, do we need a shed, guys. All right, so common mushrooms... You're going to stay here because I'm going to eat you tomorrow. Wait, wait, wait. we got to smelt some stuff. We're going to smelt gold. Two today. Two in the morning. And we're just selling these, right? Yep. All right. Let's go to bed. And that's going to do it for this episode. So if you haven't done so already, please be sure to hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button, comment below, and we will see y'all next time. That's really not very exciting. Level 6 mine.